So I've been working on gold leafing recently, these days, um, finishing up a couple of commissions, and I thought I could show you more of what King Paku is about. Um, this is my t primary textbook. I have several others, but um, this is where I've been learning about my ground rocks. This is like ground malachite and then other rocks that have been added over time. Ground seashells. This is how they make the ground seashells. I have about eight different kinds of ground seashells. There it is at the very beginning. And then we have the gold leaf. There are two gold leaf centers. One's in Kyoto and one in Kanazawa, which is where I went. Here is what a very traditional gold leaf screen looks like for panels. Um, so here's the piece that I am currently working on. It's a triptych. And this is of a scene that my mom and I see when we walk Jack. Um, and the trees, these dragon trees growing out of the rocks. And what I'm going to work on on this one is a lot of color, a lot of ground rocks. And here's my first selections for my palette that I have um, I'm considering using. And here you can see, look at the, see how it's particulated? Really like sand. One of my favorites is, where did, oh here, oh, look at this one. Look at, see all the different colors in that rock? So I first have um, ground my sumi and then and did this under painting. And if you can see it, there's varying shades. I'm going to go back in and fix some of this. I don't like these lines here. The under painting will show through the ground rock. So what the effect that I want, the feeling that I want, really has to be well articulated in how I have applied the underpainting of, of the sumi. And really quickly, this, these are 23 karat gold, um, and the process is I first stretch a paper with a seaweed, oh, 22 karat, <laughs> um, seaweed glue, that paper was treated, and then I applied adhesive, and then the gold leaf. So. That is, this is like step five. Have a good day.